Oh right, this is chapter two, the Dune. Fubar difficulty, spec ops the line. Uh, the only reason I didn't cut out this beginning part is since it leads right into the combat, so I just left it in. Um. What was it? Uh, there is intel in this game, um, but I'm not going to be picking it up since, uh, like most games, after you pick it up, uh, that's it. It doesn't show back up again. Um, there's only, most of the chapters, there's only like two things of intel and they're close together, or there's only like one. Um, if anything, I'll probably in the description or something, I'll link the video I used to find all the intel. Uh, so this is the point when you get the use of grenades and how to uh, throw them. Um, one of the things that they tell you uh, during like the loading screens is if you don't necessarily kill anyone with a grenade but if it's close enough to them it'll like throw up a cloud of sand so they're kind of like stunned for a second so it gives you a chance to uh, like mow down two or three guys so even if you don't actually kill anyone with a grenade or you only get like one guy of four guys that were near it, uh, the other three will be stunned, so you can just kill them quickly. Yeah, kind of like how that uh, sand cloud showed up. Um, so. um, I wasted a grenade there, I really didn't need to use that. Um, since really those two guys are the only ones I think you really need to kill. Uh, so, I'm trying to remember, oh yeah, just kind of go around any ammo you can pick up or grenades. Um, there will be points where you might run out of ammo for a gun and you might not necessarily be able to find the same weapon to get the ammo. So there's going to be a lot of points through this guide and just like playing the game where you don't have to just like pick up whatever gun that happens to be close to you just so you have ammo. Uh, so, uh, one of the first things you want to do when you get here is get a grenade behind that turret so you can um, take out the guy that's on there. Uh, I don't know if it will happen, but I never had another guy like run to the turret to try and use it. Um, so, really I didn't have to worry about that turret after I threw that grenade and uh, shoot out the glass in that building since any any enemies that were there will get um, flooded by the sand and then when you get up here jump on this turret um, since I think five guys show up and the quicker you can kill them the better for you and saves you ammo. Uh, so coming into this next area, uh, I had the two times on normal and suicide when I played this area, I had no problem here. Um, like I went through this thing, I killed however many guys I needed to kill, but for some reason, when I went through this on Fubar, uh, 
I wasn't getting the sandstorm coming through to end the chapter. And I don't know if going in, if you have to go to this cover um, and wait for the rocket guys to show up because eventually they'll shoot a rocket and destroy this cover. So then you have to run to where uh, Adams and Lugo are. Uh, the first, when I went through here on Fubar, I ran right to this area. So I don't know if I like glitched out the game, but I literally just had to like kill myself and redo it again. Um, I ended up dying two extra times when I didn't plan to. So I like I don't know if you need to run to that piece of rubble first and wait for it to get destroyed by one of the rocket guys when they show up, or like if you can just run to this cover and just hold out until the sandstorm shows up. I'm really not sure how, like, if, like, what the requirement is to get the chapter to end. So, just fall, you know, run to that rubble and then, um, when it gets destroyed, you'll have plenty of time to run to this cover. And, uh, yeah, it does it. So, I'll see you in chapter 3.